What's up, brothers and sisters? This is your brother, G World Seven Space D. And his book is called The Spectacle of the Late Maya Court Reflections on the Mirrors of Bonapak by Mary Miller and Claudia Brittenham. Now, they got a little shadow on there. Check it out. That's images of Bonapak. You can see all those are Negroes, those are Mayans. Now, hold up now. These are the Mayans. Them that are light there. These are the Mayans. Right? Let me pull my light up. Let me be better. Yeah? See these images on the even on the front of the book. Alright. Check it out in one turn. Sorry, my book. Let's see it. This is another way there's no academic books. His images, more images than mine. This is in his book. Now these are Negroes. You know, as you know, once the Mayan Empire has started to fall, many of the Mayans did come to North America, particularly the Southeast, and they mixed in with the Aboriginal black tribes in North America. Here's more Mayan. This is, our information is right in your face, man. These lying bastards, man, they, what they've done is hijacked our history and culture and told us we come from slaves from Africa. And any Negro still preaching that mess, claiming that they're descendant of um, West Africans and Central Africans, whatever, you know, I, I just ignore them when they say that mess because they obviously do not know about the forbidden histories. They don't know nothing about the forbidden histories of the Americas. They're just very ignorant and they will continue to go with the slave narrative. Which slaves did come here. But the bulk but what it happened was many of them were absorbed by the Aboriginal black population here. See so with these white scholars are slick. They don't tell you that you had one group of black population already here. Then you had some who were slaves and they mixed in with the black people here. Who these black some of the black people here would use as slaves. You know, were made into slaves, but in many cases you had the Aboriginal blacks who took in, let's say, runaway slaves, and they mixed in. That's what you get. Perfect example with people like the Gullah Geechee. Some of them will tell you that they're African, and others will tell you that they're Indian. The simple fact is that they're indigenous to this land, but they did take in some what you call African slaves, and they mixed with them. So you have a basically a mixture of black people there and it's not but what white scholars have done they played up the African slave narrative they're good at that good at just lying here's more images of the Maya these are some straight up Negroes man and then we hear these Negroes you don't look like the aboriginal blacks here you just come from Africa slave you know those are idiots man that old stupid idiot uh Black, uh, was it black um, Pan Africanism strikes back? He's ignorant, man. He doesn't know the black history, the forbidden histories. The forbidden histories are the lost black histories, so called black histories of the Americas, man. You had everyone here, every single group of black people that were here, you know, before the civilizations were finally destroyed by sellout nomadic black tribes. These fake mongoloids and uh, whites, white Europeans along with black Europeans, sellouts, man. This. Okay, I'm going to do this damn book, man. Because I'm showing you images. And the images of our people our culture has been robbed from us, man. We've been lied to. Alright? We've been lied to. Let the slave narratives go. I remember hearing this one old Negro talking about the slave ships and the slave ships and the slave ships. I'm like, oh my God. Like I said before, I know the slaves, some slaves are brought over here, but now you had an African slave trade, you had an Asian Pacific Islander slave trade, and you had a white slave trade. You had a lot of those black Barbary pirates. 
capturing white folks and having them white women as slaves. And, you know, you had a white lot of white slaves being brought over here to the Americas, man. You been at that. You had Mayans that had white slaves. So, these white folks will not teach you the truth, man. They will never teach you the truth. It's for you to go seek out that knowledge yourself and learn that knowledge and take it in, grab it, gasp it, and take it. You know, this is our history. You need to reclaim and take everything back. Everything back. Everything back. You need to take everything back, man. I mean, absolutely every damn thing back. This is our history. This is our history, man. It's right in your face. But you have to be willing to want to learn it. A lot of stuff is in these academic books, man. A lot of stuff is in these academic books. This is an academic book. Like I said before, I come from a family of educators. So I've exposed this stuff early. I, that idiot, I.G.B. Moore, whatever his name is, claimed that we just come from slaves from Africa. And he made some ignorant comment about Dane Calloway. And he had a bunch of goofball Negroes with him. Man, that is an ignorant dude. But he shows how ignorant he is. He brought some brag about, I guess, his degrees, which I have. But I'm not going to sit there and brag about getting degrees from either a white or a Negro institution where basically you're being brainwashed and taught, force feed the garbage, the lies that they've been on force feed you for years. But some of our people, I guess, boast and brag about their education, which basically they were miseducated all these years. And he was one of them. But, you know, we, we got to really realize that we've been here, like I said, man. Well, we lost our knowledge. Now, we don't speak a white man's... English not a white man's language. Remember, the, a lot of those white folks didn't even have surnames, man. A lot of them did not... Um, a lot of them uh, had hair on their bodies. They they didn't shave. They didn't bathe themselves. We taught them that. We taught them that. And those British Isles were inhibited and populated totally by so-called Negro people. Those castles were built by so-called Negroid Moorish people. You have castles here in the Americas too. So there's always a connection to the Americas and Europe and to Africa and to Asia. There's a connection. But unfortunately, many of our people say they're descendants of African slaves. When they say that, that tells me they don't know what the hell they're talking about. But you hear a lot of Negroes say that and they say that with confidence. And to me, they're just showing how ignorant they really are. This is a secret of ours and has been hidden. Like I said, this is called the forbidden histories, man. It's, it's forbidden for black folks to know this stuff. Because when the Spanish came here, they helped destroy a lot of the, all the records, all the temples, destroy, burn the books. It was a few that would survive. And that's a lot of this stuff right here survived. All the destruction of what they came over here to do. We were never to learn this information, never to keep this information, to pass it on to the next generation. Because we've been, we were told that we have no history, no culture, no anything. And many of us today believe that by saying we descended of African slaves, which is ridiculous. Because most of our people were already here. There was hundreds of millions of black people in America. We were building damn miles and pyramids here in the damn Americas, from Argentina to Canada. All over. So, I'm going to end this, man. I'm going to end this, dude. But this is an exceptional book. This is the back of it. It's the front. This is our history. The spectacle of the late Maya court. Reflections on the murals of Bonapak. This is our history, man. We claim it. We gain it.
teach it, love it, master. We were, the original Islamic people were us. The original Christians were us. The original Hebrewic people were us. All of that was us. All of them were in the Americas. So I don't get to all this bickering that we're doing about these different groups. All of us were here in the Americas. This is our land. Don't let the people make you a foreign in your own land saying that you're African. You are indigenous to this land. Granted, we had a connection with brothers and sisters over in Africa and in Asia, like I said, in the Pacific. But to all you brothers and sisters here in America, this is our land. Don't let them people call you African American. Don't even dress yourself as that. You are indigenous to this land. Or you are aboriginal. You are the original Indians of this land. If you don't like the name aboriginal, you don't like the name Indian, look here. You are just the original people of this land. Period. Learn your history. It's there in your face. Peace out, man.